20, 12 weeks, very difficult to see, but the you can see there is formation of choroid plexus of the fourth ventricle. If there is a formation of choroid plexus of fourth ventricle, that means the cerebellum is forming. And just behind this is developing cisterna magna and just below that formation of fourth ventricle that is called internal translucency. And when we do 21 weeks scan, this is the scan when the mid trimester scan is being done. You can see again lateral sulcus, the two cerebellar hemisphere. This is the vermis and you can see two membrane which is interrupting the cisterna magna which is normal and this box is Blake's pouch which is normal which breaks down and makes the foramen of maggot deep. This K1 septum pellucidum is visible should be visible when we measure this and you can see the posterior part of corpus callosum. So these are thalamus in between the thalamus there is a this third ventricle which is not visible but visible by all these white lines are actually covered by pyometer which are reflecting surfaces. So we can make the brain anatomy by these lines and this area is subarachnoid space. Same thing when 32 weeks the cerebellum is developed with lobes and folia, it is already gone and you can cannot see very well the cavum septum pellucidum. So technical factors, ultrasound transducers, mainly 3 to 5 transabdominal transducers, white brand transducers, imaging parameters, grayscale, two-dimensional, USG and harmonic and cross beam. So I will cover this topic now fast because we have covered the anatomy. The screening examination at fetal brain after 18 weeks, quantitative, three planes already described, the spine and three planes. Now we have to see this thing in uh, screening examination that is head shape, lateral ventricle, Avum septum pellucidi, thalamite, cerebellum, cisterna magna and spine. And uh, these are the different planes which I already covered. And these are the things which is visible while we do this trans ventricular. This is transventricular, transcerebellar and transthalamic. So the transventricular recommendation aspect of atrium distal to the transducer and the presence of K1 septum pellucidum, anterior and posterior portion of the lateral ventricle, they have a well-defined lateral wall and separated medially by K1 septum pellucidum. Already I discussed all these things and failure to demonstrate CSP prior to 16 weeks or later than 37 weeks is normal finding. So these are the main transvent the things which are uh, important in transventricular plane and there should be this it has been name has been given the anterior complex and the posterior complex the CSP caudate nucleus I already described it has to be seen if you can see importance of visualizing a CSP already discussed there will be failure to visualize membrane a lot of highly suspicious of number these are the things which you when we get that CSP is not visible, cavum septum is not visible, go for targeted sonography because it goes in favor of partial, complete agenesis of, or partial agenesis of corpus callosum. Posterior portion of lateral ventricle, atrium and posterior horn and uh, posterior portion of the lateral ventricle, occipital horn, already I covered during the anatomy. The transcerebellar, this is the anatomy of cerebellum and I already covered the rule of thumb is by 19 weeks there should be no midline fluid filled space between the two cerebellar hemisphere. That means the vermis has already covered the area and there is a clear demarcation between cisterna magna and fourth ventricle. If it is present may be associated with anomaly of cerebellar vermis and referred to neurosonography. Transthalamic area. The thalamic plane, these are the mostly we do the uh, uh, 